Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in three different colors. Uh, yarn is in size 4 medium and the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and now I'll chain 80. So now that I've chained 80, I'll make sure that my chain is not twisted. Then right here to this last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. Now that you've created this foundation row, row 1, I'll chain 1. Then right here through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now, I'll skip the next four chains, and through this fifth chain, I'll make 11 triple treble crochet. So through the fifth chain, we'll make 11 triple treble crochet. So now that we made 11 triple crochet, I'll skip the next 4 chains and through this 5th chain I'll make 1 single crochet. Again, I'll skip the next uh, 4 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, and through this 5th chain I'll make 11 triple crochet. So now again, that we made 11 triple crochet through the same chain, I'll skip the next 4 chains, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and through this 5th chain, I'll make 1 single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 1. See here, in the beginning of row, we made 1 single crochet, we skip the next 4 chains, and through this 5th chain, we made 11 triple crochet. Again, we skip the next 4 chains, and through this 5th chain, we made one single crochet, skip the next four chains through the fifth chain, 11 triple crochet, skip the next four chain, and through this uh, fifth chain, we made a single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row one. So now to finish row one, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So uh, this completes row 1. Now for row 2, I'll use yarn in different color. So now right here through this chain where you finished the previous row, I insert my hook. And I circle up with a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain six. Now here, I don't know what you call this stitch, but you have to wrap the yarn around the hook four times and then make a stitch right here with the same loop. 
Now I'll chain five. Now I'll skip the next five triple crochet chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and through the sixth chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain five. Then through this single crochet, we have to make uh, a cluster. But I, again, I don't know how to call this stitch, so we have to wrap the yarn around the hook four times, and we we'll insert a hook right there through a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, we wrap the hook around the. Uh, again, we wrap the yarn around the hook four times, and through the same chain, we we'll insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Again, I'll chain five. Then I'll skip the next five triple crochet chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and through the sixth chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain five. Then we make a cluster right here through the single crochet. So we wrap the yarn around the hook four times. Then insert the hook right there through a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 Again, we wrap the yarn around the hook four times. Then insert the hook right there through the same single crochet chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 Yarn over, pull through three. Again, I'll chain five. Then I'll skip the next five triple crochet chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and through the sixth chain, I'll make one single crochet. So So we repeat this throughout row two. So now to finish row two, I'll chain five. Then right here through this uh, cluster chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Well, the reason I'm cutting this yarn is, well, I'm still gonna use uh, yarn uh, I'm still going to use the same yarn color for row 3. It's just that I have to come right here through the single crochet. See, right here, to start the row. Because we have to make these, because uh, we have to make this shell right here through this cluster. So right here through the single crochet, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make one single crochet. And this is row 3. Now, right here through this next uh, cluster, I'll make 11 triple crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. Again, through this next cluster chain, I'll make 11 triple crochet.
Now to lose next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. So you see for row three, in a way we are repeating row one, just a bit different is where the sh those uh, uh, shells are actually positioned. So right here to the same single crochet, we made one single crochet, then through this cluster we made 11 triple crochet, through this next single crochet we made one single crochet, through the next cluster we made 11 triple crochet, and through this next single crochet we made one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 3. Now to finish, uh, now to finish row 3, right here through the single crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1 then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 3. Now again I'll use yarn in different color. Now for row 4, right here through the single crochet, insert my hook, then insert my hook right here through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain 6, then I'll wrap the yarn on the hook 4 times. Then I'll insert my hook right there through the same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and yarn over, pull through two. Now chain five. Let's stick with five. One, two, three, four, five. And six. So we'll skip the next five triple crochet chains and through a sixth chain I'll make one single crochet. Again I'll chain five. Then right here through a single crochet, then I wrap the yarn on the hook four times. Then I insert my hook right here through a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two yarn over four times, then I insert my hook right there through the same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through three. I'll chain five again. Then I'll skip the next four, uh, then I'll skip the next five triple crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and through a sixth chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain five. Then through this next single crochet, then yarn over four times, and then certain hook through this next single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over four times. Then I certain hook right there through the same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, we have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through three. Again, now I'll chain five. I'll skip the next four. I'll skip the next five triple crochets, so one, two, three, four, five, and through a sixth chain, I'll make one single crochet. So we will repeat this throughout row four. So now to finish row 4, I'll chain 5, then right here through this first cluster, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 4, but now for row 5, I'm still going to use yarn in the same color. So right there, through this same single crochet, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one and through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. So you see here for row five we repeat row one. So now, through this next cluster chain, I'll make 11 triple crochet.
Through his next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. Again, through his next cluster chain, I'll make 11 triple crochet. So now that we made 11 triple crochets through that cluster, through his next single crochet I'll make one single crochet. So I repeat this throughout row 5. So we repeat this throughout row 5. And then for the pattern we repeat rows 1 through 5. So we repeat this until our work so we repeat this until our work reaches the uh, 9 inches. So it measures 9 inches this far. See so how many rows we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, 9 inches <laughs> and 9 rows. Let's, let me count this again because it's too creepy. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to decrease, but we'll see. Um, so, row 10, let's see. Hmm. Alright, so, you see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We skip 5 chains of this shell and right here through a 6 chain. I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now, chain 1, then through the same chain, I'll make 1 single crochet. So now, now we will start to decrease. So let's see how we're going to do that. Hmm. So through the next two chains, I will decrease with uh, two half double crochets. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease with two double crochet. I think this will work better. Through the next single crochet, I'll make one triple crochet. Hmm, I think it looks better. Through the next two triple crochet chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Hmm. Through the next two chains, I'll make one single crochet through each chain. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, hold on, hold on. Through the next three chains, I'll make one single crochet through each chain. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next single crochet, I'll make one triple crochet. It doesn't look bad this far. Through the next two chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next three single crochet, through the next three chains, I'll make one single crochet through each chain. Again, through the next 
two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next single crochet, I'll make one triple crochet. Through the next two chains, I'll make two double crochet dec decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next three chains, I'll make one single crochet through each chain. So I'll repeat this throughout row 10. Now to finish row 10, right here to this first single crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 10. Now for row 11, I'll chain uh, 3. Then through these next two chains, I will uh, decrease. Through the next two chains, I will decrease. Through the next two chains, I will decrease with double crochets. Through the next two chains, I will decrease. So I'll continue decreasing in every chain throughout row 11. So yeah, just repeat this throughout row 11. Now to finish row 11, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 11. Now for row 12. See, it doesn't look very pretty, but what can you do? Right here to this first single crochet chain, I insert my hook. Then I insert my first slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain 3. Then through the next two chains, I will decrease. Through the next two chains, I will decrease. Through the next two chains, I will decrease. So I'll continue decreasing through each chain throughout row 12. Yeah, we're just decreasing through each chain. Now to finish row 12, right here to this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 12. Now for row 13, again I'll chain 3, then through these next two chains I'll decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. So I'll continue decreasing in every chain throughout row 13. Now to finish row 13, Right here to this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 13. And now for row 14, I'll decrease with single crochets. So I'll chain one, then through these next two chains, I'll decrease with the single crochets. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease with the single crochets. The next two chains I'll decrease with single crochets. And for this last, see? Now to finish this row, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. 
chain one I'll leave a medium size tail and then I'll close that small loop with the yarn needle see it actually is barely there I don't even know if I if it's necessary to close it you see This is how the top looks. I like this better. Okay, let's measure it. So it's 11 inches long. Let's see how wide it is. It's uh, around 10 and a half inches wide but I am going to keep mine as it is I like how it fits around my head but if you like if you if you don't like how it fits around your head then you know you can make a, a row of half double crochets or similar crochets around this area on the headband areas you know maybe a few rows until it fits you the way you want you know because some people have smaller heads some people have larger heads so you never know but I really like this though so yeah guys this is all for today and I'll see you next time with another video